Jovi Hill live at the update desk. We are currently investigating the shooting inside a business in the 10,800 block of West Charleston Boulevard. We have been told this is inside City National Bank. Now, here's a look at some of the roads that are closed in this area. You can see them right here. Um, so we understand there are still a very large police presence outside City National Bank. And uh, we understand also that Faith Lutheran Middle School was still on a lockdown. Um, some schools in the area were on lockdowns in that area. Some of them apparently lifted. And now we want to go for more information to Paris Worley. Uh, she used to work in that bank as an intern. And uh, Paris, uh, so tell us more about uh, what you were hearing uh, at this bank uh, at this time. Yeah, absolutely. My best friend um, lives across the street, and she let me know that there's, there's a police presence, a helicopter, the SWAT were there, and I immediately reached out to staff managers and other interns that are actually still currently working on the third floor uh, of the accounting firm. Um, thankfully, they're okay. They were hiding when I let, um, called them, and... They, they, were in, they were aware that the shooter was dead, so very, very thankful that they were okay. So that's what you're hearing. We're still trying to confirm that with police, so we haven't heard that. But what, what did you hear about the shooting? Did you hear about, uh, you know, uh, people who were shot in that building? So I was made aware of the shooting from my friend who just works across the street. Um, in terms of the people who were allegedly shot. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not exactly sure who or what was going on with the shooting itself. Okay, well, we're still working uh, to check that information with police. And now you said that people were hiding. I mean, what else can you say about that? Um, they were hiding in their, I'm assuming their offices. Um, thankfully, we're on the third floor and the shooting was on the fifth floor. Um, just people being very mindful and aware of what to do in these situations. Um, yeah, it, 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 is very, very, it is very, very scary, but unfortunately that's all the information I'm aware of. Well, I just want to let you know, we just heard from police and they're saying that there's no uh, ongoing threat to the community at this point. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, again, it doesn't sound like, uh, from, from that information, it sounds like uh, any active uh, shooting situation is not taking place at this point. Again, if you're just tuning in today, mm -hmm. no ongoing threat to the community because of the shooting here uh, in the Summerlin area inside City National Bank. And uh, can you tell me, I mean, I mean, what's, is that a, a large area that's inside there you there's you said there's several floors correct yes yes it is a very uh, beautifully made uh, office uh, there's six floors I believe um, and it's all connected by two different uh, about three or four elevators um, that are going up and down and whatnot I've I've met a lot of people from the fifth and sixth floors during my my stay at the accounting firm that I'm a part of. Um, so I can't wait to hear that they're okay. And when's the last time you talked with someone? I mean, do you know uh, what's happening at this very moment? At this very moment, I do not. Um, I reached out to the people who are currently working there about 20, 20 minutes ago. Um, but it seems like they're very, they definitely have better things on their hands in terms of um, remaining safe and whatnot before they're evacuated, but it, it's pretty, it's, it's been pretty radio silent since then. Okay. All right. Well, Paris, uh, thank you for your time. I appreciate that. Is there anything else that you can add or that you can say uh, right now to, to let people know of what's happening there? Um, I believe that everyone, um, I think I, I, I really hope that people are okay in there. Um, and I'll be continuing to pray for their safety and everything. I hope everybody else can too. And I think that's a hope from, uh, of course, uh, many people, all people right now, but we'll keep checking. All right, again, that's uh, Paris Worley, alive on the phone. Paris, thank you for that. And we just, uh, before we go to break again, we just want to let you know, again, if you're just tuning in, that there is no ongoing threat to the community. Police just told us that within the last couple minutes uh, after the shooting at City National Bank in Summerlin. We'll keep watching this, but for now, we'll be right back.